quick, welcome to another episode of Quick and Bake. Today I wanted to do something very special for Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be making some Companion Cube Apple Hand Pies. The weighted Companion Cube appears in a game called Portal. It helps aid the main character Chell in completing different test chambers. It has hearts on its sides and while playing the game becomes your only friend. So since we're making these from scratch, we're gonna need a few ingredients. Place two and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and two sticks of frozen butter sliced in little cubes. Now we're gonna mix this till it looks like coarse sand. In a separate bowl, we're going to whisk together one fourth cup of sour cream, four tablespoons of lemon juice, and a half cup of ice cold water. Now get your liquid mixture and we're going to slowly drizzle it and incorporate it into our flour mixture. Now let the flour surface and we're going to place our dough on top of it. And we're going to form it into a ball, a doughy ball. Now grab some plastic wrap and we're going to place our dough onto it and we're going to close it and pat it into a ball. Once it's all wrapped, refrigerate it for one hour. While the dough is cooling, we're gonna work on the apple filling. Melt two tablespoons of butter in a large saucepan and add two large chopped and peeled granny apples. Saute it for about three minutes till the apples become soft. Then add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and one third cup of brown sugar and cook it for about two more minutes and make sure to mix it all up. Once it's done, place it in the fridge to cool. Now that our dough is cool, we're going to roll it out. So we're gonna roll it out about 1 8 of an inch thick. Now that your dough is rolled out, I'm gonna use these Companion Cube cookie cutters that I bought from Think Geek, and I'm going to cut out one for the top and one for the bottom. Now grab a spatula and move them over to a cookie sheet that has parchment paper on it. Now we're gonna cut out four of the edge pieces and four of the center edge pieces. We're also going to cut out one circle. Once they're all cut out, we're going to place them on only one edge of the actual pies because one edge is going to be the inside and one side is going to be the top. So we're gonna place them all on top and once we place the circle on, we're going to get the heart-shaped cookie cutter and cut it out this will act as ventilation for the pies so that the edges don't get crusty. Now I'm going to get an egg with one tablespoon of water and we're going to whisk it together. Now I'm gonna grab a tablespoon of our chilled filling and we're going to place it in the center of the cube. So right here. Once you've done that, we're going to grab this companion cube and place it on top of the bottom portion. So carefully, Hopefully your parts won't fall off. You can actually add the parts on after. That would probably be better. Ooh. Now we're gonna brush on the egg and the water onto the actual pie. And this is going to be completely safe. It'll also help the other parts stick so if they fall off, you can just place them right back on, but since this is going to cook, uh, raw egg won't be harmful. Now we're going to grab the edge of a fork and we're going to just crimp the edges so that they stick together when they bake. We're almost done with our cubes. We just need to sprinkle a little bit of sugar and a little bit of brown sugar on them and then we can bake them for 15 to 20 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's sprinkle a little love on these companion cubes. Once they're done baking, you now have companion cube hand apple pies. I think these are super cute and any Valentine would appreciate these. I hope you guys enjoyed this and try it out yourself. If you do, tweet me a picture at ISKaplut because I'd love to see your creations. And if you would like to suggest something below in the comment sections for me to make 
for next week's episode. I would greatly appreciate that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupwake. Happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you all later. Bye!